you know, from a, a, a more a purely scientific perspective, um, stem cells is one of the, the things that I found that actually increases um, when you use acupuncture. So let's jump into one of the studies. So this is a study, uh, acupuncture for neurogenesis in experimental ischemic stroke, uh, systematic review and meta-analysis. Um, this, this, once again, last year, it's funny because before I made the commitment, the, it wasn't really there, but I made the commitment, I had the courage to move forward on it, and now we've got some really cool data. So the pooled results of 15 studies showed significant effects of acupuncture for improving stem cell proliferation when compared with control groups. 13 studies marked with Nestin, I don't know what Nestin is, um, if you guys know, please send that in, showed significant effects of acupuncture for increasing proliferation when compared with control groups. Four studies marked with PSA NCAM showed significant effects of acupuncture for enhancing migration when compared with control groups. Four studies marked with NEUN showed significant effects of acupuncture for stimulating differentiation when compared with control groups. The findings suggest that acupuncture is a positive therapy targeting neurogenesis for ischemic strokes. So for those of you who have stroke patients, they come and their arm may be folded up, they can't talk, um, maybe you know they have hemiparesis, so they're, they're walking like a gangster. This is um, one of the coolest things is I've seen dramatic results. I remember the first patient I treated who had a stroke, he had a stroke about three months prior to coming to the, the school clinic. He came from the hospital and they sent him over and his arm was all folded up like this. And I remember after working with him for about two months and he could bring his arm out like that, started to get movement in his fingers just with the acupuncture. And I, I thought that was the most coolest thing I'd ever seen. And that's one of, the, one of those cases where I was a big believer in acupuncture. So this study, it shows that not only is the acupuncture working, but they're able to tag these stem cells. So, um, you know, they're, they're tagging it with Nestin, PSA, NCAM, these, these things that, you know, if you're a researcher, you know what they are, but they can actually tag and watch where stem cells go. And the coolest thing they saw is that these stem cells started to proliferate. Remember, that means they started to, to mobilize themselves into a particular area. In this case, it was probably the hippocampus in the brain for neurogenesis for the stroke. Um, here's, here's the conclusion. The systemic review found that acupuncture improved neurological deficits and reduced brain edema in experimental ischemia, and that mechanism mostly involved with enhancing endogenous neurogenesis, including proliferation of and proliferation, migration, and di differentiation of neuronal stem cells. So for those of you, if you're doing the scalp acupuncture for stroke, um, I know the bladder channel is what I was trained in, and I treated that a lot. Obviously, you treat locally as well. And for you, Ton and Master, Master Tung addicts there, you probably would do some type of distal needling. All these things work. And um, that's what the researchers found. I know some of you are going to be asking me, well, what type, Reagan, was it local, was it distal, was it TCM, was it Japanese, was it deep needling, electroacupuncture? They didn't get specific on that. They're using acupuncture. Typically in these studies, it's uh, based more on TCM and more medical type acupuncture. Um, acupuncture had significant effects on neurogenesis, particularly proliferation of neurocytes. Among the four studies, neurobehavioral change was significantly improved and infarct volume was noticeably de declined in two studies. Um, our findings indicate that acupuncture ameliorates neurological deficits and reduces brain edema in experimental ischemic stroke, and the mechanisms pro positively correlate with endogenous neurogenesis, in which acupuncture therapy can promote the proliferation, migration, and differentiation of neuronal stem cells, which is awesome. So next time you're treating a stroke patient, you may want to look at, um, at it just a little bit differently. And then if you're thinking about that, join us tomorrow because I'm going to be showing you particular herbs, um, a nutritional program. We're going to show you um, how genetics can influence stem cells. And then you'll see that, <coughs> excuse me, maybe there's a way to get better outcomes with our patients because every time we stick a needle in somebody, there's a lot more going on than we ever realized. I mean, we knew that there's <clears throat> some type of uh, connection. Our brain recognizes there's a foreign object in the body. 
our, our body's immune system start going into um, you know, high alert mode. There's a foreign object there. Is it safe? Is it not? You know, let's, let's get the, the red blood cells, white blood cells mobilized around the area. The body might be damaged. Oh, the body's not damaged. Let's relax. That's when the endorphins start to kick in. Um, the GABA kicks in, which is your only inhibitory neurotransmitter, so your whole body calms down. Um, very cool stuff. So think about that next time you're doing acupuncture.